the sun is coming through right now. Stop. That is adorable. Oh my gosh, you guys. Are so oh, there was a ladybug on my car and it just flew away. I think it literally pooped on my windshield. That's great, but I don't know where it went. Oh my god, it's on me. And we got some kava for lunch. So good. Somebody had to get a bath because he had a little bit of an accident. It's a few hours later and somebody had to get a bath because he had a little bit of an accident but he's all clean so i'm gonna go home and dry him up many hours later hey guys it is a little bit later i actually just got to the parking lot of five below or well i just got to five below i'm in the parking lot i should say but funny story so after i bathed ranger well, actually before my friend jaden texted me and asked if i wanted to go to an event with her and i was like yeah sure just gotta get ready so i went to give ranger his bath i got ready and I was about to finish getting ready and she's like, you're going to hate me. And I was like, what? And she's like, the event is for next Thursday. So I got ready. I was like, I needed to shower anyways and like do my hair because I had to give Ranger a bath, which was not expected. But he had a little bit of an accident. And the last accident he had like in our like house or apartment or condo was our last house that we had and which was almost two years ago. So like Ranger is really, really good about not having accidents and it was like a number two accident, which is he's never even had that in general. The last one was just like number one. But yeah, so we had to clean it up. It was a lot. It was a little bit of a mess, but I think he's fine now. But I did bathe him just in case because, you know, I just, you know, just got to keep my pup clean. So I bathed him and then I got ready. So I ordered myself a salad from Texas Roadhouse. If you guys have never had their salads from Texas Roadhouse, they are my favorite salads. They're so good. I love the chicken. I love everything in it. Their ranch is amazing. So I ordered myself a salad, but um, the one close to me is like, it's in Live Oak. It's weird because I'm like in the middle position where like I'm like same distance from Stone Oak and then I'm the same distance from Live Oak. If you're in San Antonio, then you know what I'm talking about. So it's like similar. So the only Texas Roadhouse that's closer to me is in Live Oak. And everything around here, like it's 5 o'clock, 5.13 right now. And the traffic, like traffic is bad in San Antonio, like pretty much no matter where you are. But like for me, some reason, like Live Oak is just really really bad it's really really bad so i typically don't like to come over here for that reason alone and in my opinion the only good store over here is a tj maxx everything else is like not that good like the target over here target over here is no bueno but i like to go to the one in stone oak but anyways i'm rambling but i got to five below because i am trying to find that cowboy boot phone case i it, it went viral like two or three days ago so i'm pretty positive that it's probably like not available because i feel like you have to get stuff like the day it goes like you see it or goes viral oh my gosh the sun hello mom the sun is coming through right now i always call the sun my mom it's just like my little thing but oh my god she's really like shining bright right now but let's go inside five below this is a phone case they do not have the one that fits but they also have this one that's super cute and then they have a boba one but they don't have any in my phone that signs it oh baby it's so cute these little tote bags are so cute i love the strawberries but i just don't need it but it also has like a crossbody and an arm strap that is so cute stop that is adorable these easter baskets are so cute too there's so many Hey you guys, I did resist the urge. I didn't get anything there. I didn't have the phone cases, so I got nothing. Um, but there's so much cute stuff, but just stuff that I don't need, you know? I mean, I want it, but I don't need it. So let's go get my food. Oh my gosh, you guys, there's, oh, there was a ladybug on my car and it just flew away. I think it literally pooped on my windshield. That's great, but I don't know where it went. Oh my God, it's on me. It's literally on me. Oh my God. What do I do? <gasps> what do I do? 
I, I want to set it down like I, I, I oh my god guys there's a lady like on me what does this mean okay um oh my god she's running <gasps> she's flying oh my god oh it's it, it, she flew away all right bye ladybug it was nice knowing you hey guys it is the next day today is friday and it is a very gloomy and wet day in san antonio i didn't expect this if i'm being completely honest i checked my weather app this morning and it said it was supposed to like drizzle until 11 but no girl it is literally like it is a downpour let me show y'all it is coming down so much but yeah it is raining a lot and i'm wearing like a off the shoulder kind of dress and like open toed shoes because so it was supposed to be sunny the rest of the day and we were supposed to get coffee um oh yeah i didn't even tell you guys i'm at my friend gina's house um we are gonna go do one of those like she got invited to do a permanent bracelet and she asked if i want to join her um to help her get content and stuff and then um they're gonna do like a permanent jewelry bracelet on her i think a lot of places have those so it's gonna be pretty fun yeah i figured i'd continue the vlog into today i think we're gonna get coffee because it's nearby this one coffee place that i really really like and she's never been it's called press coffee if you've never had it in san antonio it is really really good but i'm excited to go but i did not bring a jacket thankfully oh you know what i have my husband's <laughs> i have matthew's um like north face jacket in the car so i'm gonna wear this it's my lucky day so thankfully i have this because i have like this jacket but it doesn't have a hoodie and i need at least something so that's gonna be good to have but i'll check back in with you guys a little later it's a little while later we got some kava for lunch so good here's gina oh look your shirt i didn't even see with selena that is so cute it's so good yeah many hours later hello you guys it is a little while later i'm back at home i washed my face i got home and i was so exhausted we ended up going to get coffee me and gina we went to get our permanent bracelets i'll show you guys a little clip of it um it is so cute i tried to show in a clip on my camera but i'll insert a clip right here of it for my phone um but it is just so cute and super dainty the only thing about um, the bracelet is I didn't quite notice it at the beginning, but the charm and the actual bracelet are two different color gold So that's interesting, but it's still super cute and it's like super dainty and it's gonna be on me Forever or at least as long as I guess I want it on there, but it was super cute If you guys are in San Antonio and you want a permanent bracelet, I will have it um, Linked in my description box. It is off of Broadway near where the press coffee is if you're familiar with that coffee shop So we went to press coffee we went to get our permanent bracelets and then we went to TJ Maxx and I got these really cute press on nails you guys let me show you guys um i don't even know if i told y'all but in my last vlog i ended up ripping off all my nails because i had a little incident with the dog <laughs> it was a whole thing if you saw my instagram story then you know but i really want to let my nails heal because they look like really really bad and they're just so paper thin and i saw these press on nails and they're just so cute they're like little floral flowers it's like kind of purple pink greens and blues I thought they were adorable, and they were um, $4.99, so I got that. And I also got, where did I put it? I'm going to show you all. I also got this blue raspberry Tarani syrup because I don't know why, like, I've been craving, like, flavored Red Bulls. And there's a coffee shop called Brevity here in San Antonio that has really good flavored Red Bulls, but they can get kind of pricey. And I always get the blue raspberry or something, so I got the syrup. And I made my own today, and it was so good. I'll enter the picture here. It was super delicious, and I put it in a cute little wine glass because, you know, they're all aesthetic and whatnot. But, yeah, I am back at home making dinner. I'm actually making, like, tacos dorados, putting potatoes, um, chorizo, and some cheese. I don't know if you guys know who Itzel is. I love her. She's on TikTok, and she posts so many, like, food videos and recipes, and I always love following her recipes. So I followed one of her recipes, and... Yeah, I just sounded good, so I placed a H-E-B order, and it came, like, within the hour, so that was nice, and I just um, needed, like, chorizo and a few other things, so I'm making that right now. Actually, I'll show y'all. So, these are the tacos here. They look so yummy. I can't wait to eat, and I did make some rice. That's kind of right there, so, yes, those are cooking, and, guys, I feel like I made so many, and I have a couple more to cook. I don't know why. I just, I don't know how to cook food for two people. I, I just don't know how to do it but it's gonna be okay because we'll have leftovers these you can throw in my air fryer and they're still gonna be nice and crunchy 
and Matthew can have some for his lunch tomorrow. So I'm gonna have dinner here in a little bit. I also got sucked into this rabbit hole. Uh, let me show you guys what they're called. Their channel is called Gabby and Gabe, and I was scrolling TikTok as we all do, and I saw somebody posting about their labor and delivery vlog, and how it was like so real and raw, and I was like, let me check this out, you guys. I have never cried watching like a labor and delivery vlog on YouTube and I can't tell you why well, I've gotten emotional on some but I cried like I don't even know why it was just such like it was definitely like a little scary I'm not gonna lie I'm 30 years old she's 25 I believe she took it like a freaking champ but I highly suggest to go watch it if you're interested in that they're super cute I've been also watching all their other videos since I'm here cooking so yeah but that was just a really, really well done and just very raw. And it showed, like, she showed and, like, was completely unfiltered with so much. And I applaud her for that because it needs to be normalized and not many people talk about it. So, yeah, it was a really beautiful um, birth story. Not even a birth story, just a birth vlog. So if you guys want to watch it, too, I will also link it in my description box as well. But I'm going to cook dinner. I'm going to show you guys how it looks when I'm done. I'm probably gonna end the vlog there because I got a shower and I'm tired again. My food is plated and it looks so good, so let's go eat this. <laughs> 